Alright, hey guys, this is going to be a system test of our fire alarm system. I don't know what this the number this is because we haven't made one in a while, so we're just going to call it the system test. Still have the panel, probably not going to do anything extraordinary to that thing anymore. Um, we're really not going to do anything really big to the system anymore, it's just going to stay like this pretty much. Uh, but the reason I wanted to make this video is because we got a bunch of new poles. Uh, most, of them of which, most of them were all uh, free. But we just had to pay shipping for them, five dollars and ninety-five cents. So thank you. I don't know who sold, uh, sold the gave them, sent them to us. I'm I'm sorry, fire alarm store or something like that. But thank you so much for them. They're very nice. Um, most a lot of them are broken. Oh well, a lot of the a lot of them he was giving away were just like broken or you know they were missing a few things. But we were able to snatch some good stuff, like this. Um, it's pretty much the FCI. I don't memorize the um. Uh, model anymore. It's pretty much this one, you know, the lift and pull. Also got this one. It's broken because the hinge isn't in there, but it's the fire. Let's see if I can find the door to it. Mm, can't find it. It was just uh, MS2. First the MS2, I think, but a step before it. So it's pretty much the BG8. BG8. Yeah, BG8, where you just got a pull. Very good condition. Um, and we have the RS up there, always going to be there. Um, we also saw this Honeywell, interesting Honeywell pull section. I don't know what, well, that one is either, but it's in very good condition. Um, I don't like the lock system, though, because you actually have to kind of go behind here in order to open it properly. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to get to all the pull stations today. So excuse this mess, please. Turn this light on. Um... And here is a Silent Night model of the BG-8, also from him. It's very nice. Um, yeah. Let's see here. We have um, got a new door. I'm trying to push this to open the electric strike because this doorknob doesn't work. It broke because uh, my brother got this for Christmas. Two exit devices, the other one's sitting down there. I don't know why I put this one up, it doesn't really work well. But oh well. The EST strobe. What are those two purple dots down here? Aw, that sucks, I don't know what they are. Anyways, let me turn this light on. Actually, no, I got a flashlight. Actually, this handles well in the light, but anyways. Uh, using my cheap Chinese focusable LED flashlight, it's $10. Really nice. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this one yet. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who make it, made it. Um, there's no nameplate. All it says down there, though, is DC, because it did come with it from Washington, DC. It's UL. Um, it, it, it should be on the inside. It's very old. Very nice. I really like that bowl station. But it's held to reset. Um, let's see here. What's over here? And this is the other pull station we got from them. Uh, as you can tell, it's in kind of crap condition, but it's a game well. We're trying to fix it. It came with a broken, um, let's see if I can actually open this without setting the system off. Okay. This is the innards of it. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Normal. Let's see here. Um, actually, I could probably see if I could pull that. We'll see. Uh, that it's. We also got that. The, the switch broke. It came broken, but it was free, so I'm not gonna complain. It's kind of dirty, but we'll clean that up. All right. So, what pole station? So, we get? actually, I, I'm really eager to do this one. It doesn't lock right now, so we're using Tyvek tape. Let's get her started. If this doesn't pull, we'll just... Actually, one thing I forgot to show you guys before. The alarm over here. I bet you... It is the... EST uh, LED fire alarm. The, uh, the Genesis LED, so... That's that. Anyways, let's go ahead and pull this. And then we have the, uh, the Spectre Alert Classic Chime Strobe which is set on high volume, 500 hertz. So it's actually really quiet still, but see if it'll actually activate. Oh, it did. 
As you can tell, the tape didn't really hold up well, but it did work. We'll get another inside look at that in a minute. You can see how long this is a much longer flash. Actually, I think you put it on high volume. I'm not sure. That's knock one trouble. Battery trouble. We have the batteries. We just disconnected them. Because we may need to work on it or something like that. Alright, now while this is silenced, again, excuse the mess. Let's take a look at the inside of here. This is actually out of a um, uh, 270 SPO, 270 SPO, that switch. But um, yeah, so this is pretty much, it actually kind of works like a 270 SPO. How it like, you just flip it and it just knocks that switch up. So, close this. Sorry about the camera. Hard to do it with one hand. We're going to need to fix that because it's a really nice pull station. Um... Since I don't want the uh, alarm beep, the panel beeping, because NAC 2, it goes crazy with NAC 2 troubles. I NAC 1 troubles. Uh, we're just going to, I, I want to get to all the pull stations today to show you. Put on low power, and um, see if I can get this. Just pull down. That's it. Very little distance. It's not too loud over here, just that over there. Um, I want to put it on quiet, the uh, low power, but oh well. Alright, now let me show you if I can actually see if does this light work. Yes, it does. Good. Alright, so um, what we're going to need to do, get the Phillips head. And uh, I'll show you how this works, if I can do it, because it's kind of difficult to do with one hand, but we'll try anyways. Got to unscrew this little screw right here. And, yep, it's the inside, Ellen Co. Incorporated, Washington, D.C., Cat 5D, so it's pretty much, you just, what it does is it, and the alarm's not going to go off again, so, it just, just, when you pull it down, it's just, Taking the, this little thing, I, I believe it's right here. It's oh, it's actually got a brake rod in it. Anyways, what this does, I believe it just pushes it down. Very simple. Now here comes the hard part: resetting it. You gotta get in the very right place. Or it won't do anything. So I'm trying to do this with one hand, but it's not really working out well. So we'll see. Back to normal. It is very loose, so I don't know why it just stays loose like that, but oh well. Okay, now, let's go to the uh, Silent Night. I should put a, I should put the uh, BG-8 up right there. Instead, we could have a, had a BG-8 knockoff party. But anyways, fire alarm. Ooh, that, hard to pull. Okay, there we go. Now I'll go reset that now. Alright, now let's get back over here and take a look at um, the innards of this. Now, I was wondering what this little hole right here was for. I found out now, I remembered, this came as a bro with a broken addressable module, which that works out very well in our favor because we have a conventional panel. So, it's still it got that really long button and um, model uh, SD500-PS. Now, if any of you guys are wondering how a BG-8 works, um, I, I know I used to wonder. Oh, by the way, here's the date code. Um, oh, wow, it was made in uh, either, yeah, I think it was made in November 2003. This thing's very well conditioned for its age. Um, anyway, so how, pretty much how this works. 
Okay, I used to know how, really wonder how this works. Push it back up, nothing happens. Stays down. Um, by the way, I'm not a big fan of these because somebody could just, if, oh, I accidentally pulled it, tape it closed. They were desperate enough. But anyway, so pretty much what happens is this, this long, um, that long thingy on the keyhole, key, pretty much latches behind this metal thing right here. So you pull it, and then it, and then this button, when it opens up, that's how it works. So, if any of you were wondering, I gotta get the keys out with this that silent night. Just gotta get the SC10 key. Now, this is a very, this is kind of finicky key. Can't put any pressure on it, or it won't turn. There you go, open. It's very tight. Maybe the main WD 40 that. Okay. Sorry for making this video. Ow. Sorry for making this video so long. But uh, now let's get the Honeywell. Ready? Not much distance either. Now I'm going to show you the um, the wonderful, our makeshift way to reset it. Now I figured out. You think, okay, stick the uh, little flathead in here. It doesn't open. You got to stick something really small in there. So what I got to do, I got to like do this thingy back here. It's like a little push to the side and the push. So that is how that works. And it's actually very interesting. It uses like, look at this switch. I never seen, I never saw something like this kind of switch on here. Do not over tighten. Thanks, screw. Okay. Um, I know this is Honeywell. I do not know the model though of this. It's something somewhere back there, but. Um, let's see, how is this reset? So pretty much, oh, it's can't, it's already reset. It resets itself. Pretty much what it does, of course, pull it. And this pushes that switch down. So that's that. I don't know what this little door is for, but well. All right. Last but not least, the other generic um, BGA. Now, for some reason, I really like this one. I don't know. It just looks really nice. This is where we're here. Just shot it up. All right. Now, like I